What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going back in time to when barbershops were not just a place to get haircuts and shaves, they were establishments of therapeutic personal care. And it's in just such a place that we find this gentleman here who in 2014 opened the History Barbershop in Midland, Ontario, Canada. It's inside this barbershop that he came to a realization about the aftershaves he was seeing on the market and coming through their shop, thinking that they had really just lost touch with their roots. You see, he thought somewhere along the way aftershaves went from being made by hand and aged to being made in huge vats with harsh additives. It was with this notion that he decided to take things back to the way it used to be done by creating handmade aftershaves and aging them in charred oak barrels. And the end result of that effort is what I'll be reviewing for you today, the historic brand's restorative craft aftershaves. Specifically, we'll be looking at the Italian soda, Georgian Bay rum, and the Embargo Blend number no. two options from this lineup. They all three have specific fragrances that we will talk about, but behind that we have a lot more to focus on, like that aging process that I just talked about and the ingredients that make up these handcrafted beauties. First off, these aftershaves are made only in small batches and they are aged in charred French oak barrels. The brand explained to me that this premium process extracts tannins that act as both an antiseptic and a cosmetic. As an added bonus, the aging process allows the properties of the charred oak to be transformed into aromatic compounds. Compounds. Beyond that, they also contain some really good ingredients, including witch hazel, which is an ingredient that for centuries was used by Native Americans for skin care. And it's said that this ancient herb can help with things like skin hydration and eczema. They also use potassium alum as well. This ingredient not only works wonders for acne, but it's also antibacterial and promotes the healing of wounds faster and helps soothe the skin post shaving. Beyond all that awesome stuff, we are separating this into three scents here. First, we have the Georgian Bay Rum. The brand is describes this as being inspired by the harmony of changing winds, fresh water, and carnivorous vegetation that are the 30,000 islands of Georgian Bay. They also say this elemental fragrance has unique character and therapeutic properties. Again, it is barrel aged in European oak for natural color and added woodiness. They do say this one is better suited for those usually irritable to most synthetic scents. Next we have the Italian soda, which the brand describes as being inspired by the effervescent sensation of nostalgic joy that comes from the first taste of a cold soda pop. This one is described by the brand as having top notes of vanilla and sweet tobacco folding down onto notes of myrtle, toasted caramel, and spice. This too is barrel aged in European oak for natural infusion of astringent and aromatic compounds. Last, we have the Embargo Blend number no. two, and this signature aftershave is a spirited barber's blend of cognac and sweet tobacco scents. It's carefully barrel aged with limousine oak to infuse natural vanilla tannins with scents of caramel smoke and a honey brown color. They say this this unique potassium alum formula contains styptic and antiseptic properties that help to counter nicks and oily skin. Now, all three aftershaves are the same base formula, so you're really just deciding on which scent you want to go for with these. For me, though, my favorite of the three has to be the Georgian Bay Rum. You know, I do like it. It has a little bit, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a little heavy on the clove for me, you know, but out of the three, I do think it's very good. The second favorite has to be the Soda Pop one, uh, by the way, the this... Uh, uh, Italian soda. This one is super smooth. I really like it, but I think at, out of all three, I'm going to go with the Georgian Bay rum. That's the one that I'm going to demo here. And when I read the theory behind this aftershave or how they designed it to work, I was honestly very surprised at how well thought out this really was. And I'm going to go ahead and share all that with you as I demo this out here real quick. Beyond the special aging and maturing process, which is insanely cool just on its own, to be honest, there's a lot more going on here. See, the formula contains that potassium alum and it starts off by cleaning the exposed skin. Alum is a naturally occurring salt that is crushed and suspended into the liquid. This means it goes on wet and then through evaporative reduction, minerals weightlessly settle on the skin acting as a protective layer and leaving no environment for bacteria to grow. We then have the witch hazel, which acts as a natural astringent. It clears pores of unwanted buildup, thus preventing acne, and it just leaves your skin in an overall better condition. There's also studies out there that show that that this plant's medicinal benefits can include reduction of cellular damage, swelling, and inflammation. Now, to be quite honest, these have to be some of the most elaborate aftershaves I've ever had the good fortune to explore here on the channel. I mean, actually, I think they might be the most now that I'm really thinking about it. I can't think of any other aftershaves that really have had this much detail and theory behind them. I mean, really, this is some very intricate and well-designed stuff. This is exactly the type of stuff that really inspires 
someone like me that's a home brewer himself i mean i i really think this was an incredible idea that they've had here the they are they're taking the the idea of the barber shop they're taking those same old school ideals and then infusing them into a barrel aged aftershaves i mean i think i think that alone is just absolutely incredible using them also is not like others that i've used in the past or ones that i remember using you know i, I remember being in the army and using whatever they had at the px you know because at, at that point i had to shave my entire face to be in regs you know and it just burns the crap out of your face i'm sure all of you have used something like that as you're using it it's obviously this is obviously not like that in the very in the least i i thought this was I thought this was very cool actually almost as soon as you apply it to the skin it evaporates just completely evaporates just very quickly almost before you're even done you know massaging it into your face it's completely completely evaporated it's pretty cool actually I found nothing you know that stood out to me to be problematic really at all besides the fact that some of the scents kind of triggered some of my allergies which is something I'm very open about here on the channel you guys know I never blame that on the brand because you know I have a scent allergy you know that that that's just that's just how I I'm I'm blessed with a, a messed up nose I guess you know that's just that's just something about me I will say though that I was very surprised that their scents weren't stronger and, and that's a and that's a that's a positive statement I was expecting them to be much more in your face uh, much more potent and they really weren't I described them all as being um, you know they're they're different completely three different scents you know the notes and everything are completely different they did very well on that but they're all had they, but they all do have one common trait and that that they're all very smooth especially the italian soda one that vanilla just makes it so creamy in its presentation it's just very smooth so i thought that was really well done if you would though like to check out the historic brands craft aftershaves i will link them for you in the description as usual there for you to check out if you're interested the brand also is offering you guys my subscribers a discount too which is down in the description as well if you're interested in looking at that if you did enjoy this video though make sure you hit that like button for me and more importantly hit that subscribe button that's a huge help to me i thank you in advance for doing that that is it though for today thank you very much for joining me here for this new episode take it easy i'll see you next time